We have seen that giving the follower a constant velocity or constant acceleration motion leads to problems like very high acceleration or very high jerk. Let us see if things can be smoothened out by using a sinusoidal variation of displacement against time. If you want to plot such a curve manually, here is the construction. First, we will plot the time axis or the cam angle axis like this. Then at the end, we will construct a semicircle whose diameter is equal to the rise of the follower we want. Then we are going to divide this semicircle and the horizontal axis in equal number of parts, say six parts like here. And then we are going to number these parts from zero to six and zero to six like that. And then we'll be projecting the parts of the semicircle horizontally. And we'll be marking the intersections of corresponding lines. Then the second horizontal line and the second vertical line, the third horizontal line and third vertical line and so on. We'll be connecting all these points of intersection with a smooth curve. This curve is a sinusoidal curve and therefore this motion is called a simple harmonic motion. This sinusoidal function or curve that we just derived will be applied to the rise as well as the return of the follower. Now you might notice that this curve is nothing but a cosine function which is just lifted above the x-axis and if displacement is a cosine curve then its derivative or the velocity would be a sine curve. And if velocity is a sine curve, then its derivative, which is acceleration, would be a cosine curve again. So we are getting these successive derivatives. But there is a problem and the problem is at the beginning. You would notice that the acceleration has to shoot from zero to this maximum value in an instant. This fast rise of acceleration would give us a very high derivative of acceleration which is called as jerk and uh, theoretically it will be infinite. So we are going to get a very uh, strong jerk there at the beginning as well as at the end both in the rise as well as the return phase. Let us see if we can further smoothen things out by using something that is called as a cycloidal rise. We will see that in the next clip.